Welcome back, everybody, to the College Express podcast. Uh, sorry we missed you in September, but now it's October, and we are ready to answer your questions about Halloween and college. First, it is Kara from College Express here, as always joined by Mackenzie. Taylor is unavailable for this month, but hopefully we'll see him next month. And we are joined by our special guest. Hi, I'm Kelly. I am a editorial assistant and social media coordinator here uh, in the data division of College Express. And I actually went to two different schools. So I went to community college at Southern Maine Community College because my mom works there. So free tuition is a good thing. And then I transferred to St. Joseph College of Maine to uh, major in writing and publishing. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining us. Glad Let's to be here. Right into it. Like I said, it's going to be all about uh, college and Halloween, as you can tell by the fact that we're dressed up and the fact that it's spooky month. If this is your first time joining us for the podcast, our schedule is uh, the first full week of every month. We release each question, four questions, every day of the week, Monday through Thursday. And then on Friday, we put them all together and you can watch the whole thing at once. So let's get right into it then. So question one for Halloween is, do people still have Halloween costume contests in college, and are there breaks for Halloween? This question was submitted by Zawa underscore the underscore crazy underscore cat underscore lady. What a name. That's awesome. That's okay. Like crazy cat lady. Uh, I... <laughs> I never got a break for Halloween in college. I don't know if colleges do that. Did your colleges give you breaks? I, I got a break during Halloween when I was studying abroad in Dublin. That was our, we got a week-long break. my hood. Not specifically for <laughs> Halloween, but we got a week-long break for, um, it was like a fall break so that we could travel. Oh, that makes and sense. And it happened to fall around Halloween, but it was great because I did not want to be, at, I love Dublin, but Halloween is a Celtic holiday and everyone comes out to celebrate it. It's part of their culture. I support that. There are also a lot of drunk Americans in Dublin. For, for sure. Halloween specifically. For sure. And I did not want to do that. I was in Venice for Halloween. It was great. We got to see all the little babies running around. Because it's just kids doing stuff there. Like I forgot it was Halloween. Aww. So. Halloween. Yeah, we, we didn't do Halloween breaks at St. Joe's. I feel like that would be maybe against the rules if they did, because it is a Catholic <laughs> college. So, because we, we got, like, extended Easter breaks that a lot of other schools didn't get. You stuff, might get but. the next day off, I'll say instead. We didn't. Oh. I wish we did, but we didn't. We did, however, always have, like, a really fun um, Halloween dance that That's everyone cool. dressed up for, which was always a really good time. We had a Halloween dance that no one went to. <laughs> yeah, same here. You're I right. Was, yeah, I was at... um. Champlain, as you all know, if you've been following the podcast, and every year we did a Halloween dance in the um, gymnasium, and I had to go every year because I was on the dance team, and the dance team performed, <laughs> and it was mostly the dance team and the friends that we dragged there. It was a lot of fun going to the dance. I mean, free food, free fun, like, I was all about it, but just a lot of people didn't want to go, and it wasn't on Halloween. It was, like, a Thursday night before Halloween. Huh. That's so weird. We always, like, our Halloween dances were always super popular. Like, mostly everyone was there. Everyone would, like, swarm down from the dorms no, I've in costume. No, there people at Champlain, but we had a lot of nerds who didn't want to leave the dorm room. <laughs> <laughs> they would leave for, like, the intramurals were popular things, but things like dances just, whenever they did it, the only thing that was popular was, like, Snowball, which we can get into in January. Uh, it was, we yeah. also did one of those too. We didn't yeah. really have like dances that people talked about going to. Like they did like a monster mash party for Halloween yeah, and you arrived fun. kind of thing. That's but cool. it was like again one of those things kids yeah. don't want to go to. <laughs> yeah. it, well, I think it was on Halloween night. Even though there wasn't much going on for like school spot like we we they would have like costume contests sometimes, like within groups, like clubs mm -hmm. would have them. Um but a lot of it was just sort of, like, and I think I got extra credit for one class if I dressed up. Um, but it was, like, a point of extra credit. And I was already getting Worth it. Worth it. Yeah. It was, it was a good, it was bring, fun. bring, like, some ears or something to class. Put it on. Yeah. So, or you, you had to put it a wig. Oh, really? No, you had to bring the full bill if you were going to. Um, not just the wig. <laughs> not just the wig. Um, but, yeah, it is, I mean, and people still do Halloween parties. 
Yeah. You can even have, so like, a crazy. costume contest just, like, in your dorm. Like, create one yourself if they don't yeah, have For sure. Nice. That, too. Or that you could just order I feel like if you do it with a group of friends, especially if you're, like, a group of friends that are, like, a little competitive, mm -hmm. it could be really fun to just yeah. do it amongst your friends because then there's not that risk of, like, oh, there could be those one or two people or group of people that's not really into yeah. it. You're like, all of my friends are going to go all out. We're going to have a costume yeah. contest amongst ourselves. Can create fake awards. I also have friends who thing. went trick or treating. Like on, on Halloween. On campus? No, not on campus. campus. <laughs> around just around the neighborhood they went they went trick or treating. And um, families were like, oh, look at these look at these college kids they, trick or treating. To be fair, right like they were cosplayers, so their costumes were legit. On point. Like That's they fair. were really um, nice costumes. I'm like, you know, I'll give them I'll give candy to teenagers as I'm handing it out. If they put in a legitimate effort, if they come up in like a hoodie and say, I'm a cat. This is a good time to like make a an announcement candy. to like high schoolers because last year I was handing out candy and like seniors in high school came up to my house just dressed in all black. My dad goes, what are you supposed to be? And they're like, dressed in all black. Oh my God. <laughs> so wear effort. a costume. We're put in the effort. Candy. If you want to bring candy, put in some effort. And then they stole a lollipop from a little girl. Don't steal candy from babies. <laughs> like right in front of us. We, we wow. put a whole bowl of candy in that girl's basket after. Yeah. So. Wow. And then walked her to her parents, I'm sure. Like, oh, yeah, her mom was, like, chasing down the kids. <laughs> yeah. She's she just, just like, waiting for more candy, and her mom's just running down yeah. the street yeah. with a bunch of high school like, students. Guess, guess you get to hang out with us for a little bit. <laughs> Here's some candy. Yeah. It's not creepy. That's oh, really fun. That's too bad. But, yeah, mm -hmm. so you, there's still fun stuff to do in costumes on Halloween and around Halloween on campus. Yeah, definitely look up what your college does because I'm sure they do something that maybe they you haven't seen an advertisement for. I actually looked up a few colleges that do really fun things. So shout out to these colleges. Ohio State does a block party and everyone wears a costume. It's like a really, really big Halloween tradition. So if you go to Ohio State or live near Ohio State, definitely go to Ohio's block bumping. Party. I have another friend who went to school in Ohio and they were like that. having parties and stuff all the time. They know what they're doing. <laughs> In Ohio. University of Rochester does a haunted house in their library. Ooh, that's they go cool. hard. I am can can this go? Yeah, can I, I go? to go there? <laughs> <laughs> check out Rochester. I love I love libraries. I don't love haunted houses, but a haunted library. A library can be creepy. I a love haunted library would library be like and haunted houses, so give go. me both. So she is gonna be in University of Rochester. I will be there soon. Yeah. On the way. What up, Rochester? Yeah. <laughs> Apparently that's what people in Rochester call no, Rochester. I love that. I, I met a girl and she goes, Rochester. I've heard, I feel like I've heard that before. It was either, it was either on Friends or like How I Met Your Mother or something. I think someone referenced that. Interesting. I don't know, I'm pretty this sure. girl I met like a long time ago at this no, point. No, all these kids are going to go to Rochester and go, Rochester. <laughs> <laughs> or they already do it and they're the just going, I oh, I know. She didn't go to a University of Rochester. She was from Rochester and she was like, oh, as we call it, Rochester. So it might just be her. There's but, there's definitely yeah. other people out there who were yeah. like, I know what they're talking about. I think I think her name was Sappho. Sappho. So it might be what they called it back in the Grecian days. <laughs> oh. She was a really cool person. <laughs> I met her at, I met her at a, um, an event that we can go down there at a whole different time. <laughs> <laughs> She'll get there eventually. Yeah. The last one I have is the University of Iowa. They have dorm costume parties, Ooh, so maybe cool. that turns into a contest. Yeah, if you're an RA, like that's a brilliant way to get your residents to come together. Oh yeah, I mean, don't do it on uh, Halloween because no. no one's gonna show up to that. But maybe, maybe like, like a Tuesday, a Tuesday or before. the Sunday before, or like um, we did. Although kids go home on the weekends, like some kids. Yeah, but then on Sunday they can come, they come back from it. They're ready to go to, to work. I always just there. wanted to sleep on Sunday. I mean. I'm <laughs> But yeah, sure Sunday. Not like Sunday afternoon, like Sunday, no. like early evening. Like Not during the football games. Yeah, right after the football games. Have everyone dress up as their favorite mascot for the football, football games. games. That's a good idea. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So create your own opportunities. Our second question is, what was your worst costume or costume, oops, from Anna P. College Consulting? Uh, worst costume in college specifically? Or in general? In general. I was going to say, because I didn't have too many, like, in-college costumes. I don't even remember what I did half the time. Um, I know I did a mother golf, but that was pretty awesome. <laughs> it was my friend's boyfriend was Flynn Rider, so I ran into him, and she was like, oh my gosh, accidental costume. That. 
Did you guys like do a scene? We together? just did. We just stood together. <laughs> we just they have like a one scene together in the movie, and it's That's when true. she tries to kill him. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, I think that's bad <laughs> scenario. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna need to think about this for a minute. Anyone have a? a piece I know. That I'm trying to think about two because I can think of like costumes I like, but not. Like I have like an oops college oops. moment, like stupidity thing. It wasn't really a costume oops. It was so I was a zombie, because that's really easy costume to do yeah. in college. You just kind of rip up clothing and don't wear makeup and don't do your hair when you wake up. <laughs> Um, but I did get fake day. blood, and I just put it everywhere, like, all over my clothes, all over my skin, and, you know, I went out, came back, took a shower that night before I went to bed, but, you know, I was late, and I don't think I washed myself as much as I should have, so the next morning I wake up, I go to class, there's, like, blood still oh, all down my no. back over here, and nobody told me, so I'm, like, <laughs> walking through campus, to class, went to class, like, people were looking at me, but I was, like, it's probably because I'm so tired. And then I, I made it till dinner. And then finally someone was like, hey, are you bleeding? <laughs> Literally all day, and yeah. no one no mentioned one anything. anything. I'm like, no one was like, um, you're bleeding, maybe you should wash that, or like, hey, are you okay? Like, no one's concerned. Yikes. Yeah, the nurse. What? Like, go, go yeah, the did, nurse. go see someone. Go and then you're like, why? Yeah, What's wrong? <laughs> Nothing. Jeez. I don't know. And it was like really obvious. Like it was on my back, but you clearly see it. Yeah. It has a pretty so big oops. So you're going to, yeah. If you're going to go out on a school night. Yeah. Or just any night, make sure you clean yourself. <laughs> <laughs> make sure you clean yourself. Moral of the story, friends. I guess I could go with the worst costume I did. Um, my worst costume was senior year. I forgot it was going to be Halloween. <laughs> Like, I was... Because it doesn't come this... I was going to say, it doesn't like come the same time no, of so, year no, no, no. so the one in Ireland, is, the one when I was in study abroad was, I forgot it was Halloween because there was just not... Like, here we, we put up pumpkins everywhere and all that. And they, yeah, you weren't inundated just, with, like, the Yeah, Halloween it just wasn't stuff. a big deal in Italy. Like, their whole big thing is Carnival when they have the masks and the costumes and all that. And I... That's another time I would not want to be somewhere is... Venice and Carnival. It'd be amazing. It would be great. That look would look really good with this. So many <laughs> people. So many people. I'm um, here. But my senior year, I <laughs> forgot that it was Halloween because Halloween was never really my thing. Mm. Like, I was, it was never really a huge deal for me after I stopped going trick or treating. I was just like, <laughs> I still have to do homework. Um, so I. Last minute, I was pulling down my uh, bulletin board because I was an RA and I was, I was pulling everything down. And it was a red, like, piece of butcher's paper. And I was like, okay, I'll just pin this to my shirt and I'll put an S right here. And I'm a super girl. <laughs> and it did not look great. It was not all done. But it was a costume. Last minute, thrown together. At least you wear all black. That's true. Just all black. <laughs> <laughs> to like, be fair, that's my aesthetic most of the time. I have thought of one. Uh, and this was definitely, like, it wasn't a bad costume, but it was an oops. Mm -hmm. And this is also kind of an ironic story to tell. Because right now I have a very badly sprained ankle. Uh, and it's a sprained ankle story. Mm -hmm. So it was, I think it was my senior year of high school. It possibly could have been my junior year, but it was Spirit Week. And so it was kind of close-ish to Halloween, but we obviously made a bunch of costumes for different um, themed days or whatever. Did you guys do Spirit Week in high school? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So we had things like pajama day, uh, one year we did salad dressing day, where if you were like Caesar dressing, you dressed up as people from like Rome. If you had uh, we uh, ranch dressing, you dressed up as like Western cowboys and yeah. stuff. And so one of the days we always did was um, decade day. Yeah. And ooh, that means I was, it was junior, so it was 70s. Mm -hmm. And so I was wearing this big Afro and like a leather jacket and this really bright purple dress and then ridiculously tall white go-go boots oh. that I borrowed from a friend of my mom's that were probably at least three sizes too big for my feet. And my high school had a lot of floors. Yeah. So I- It had a lot of floors? Floors. Like, as in like- Like, you had to climb a lot of floor, stairs. Third, okay, yeah. I'm like, I would hope it has a lot of floors <laughs> for you to walk on. <laughs> I mean, the high school had, like, four, four, four floors, and each floor had, like, 
floor had at least one set of stairs turn another set of stairs. Okay. Kind of thing. <laughs> to specify, there were floors in my high school. There was it's a lot of levels me. to okay. the floor. I'm sorry. There were a lot of it's stairs. Not even Friday. So I was super proud of myself because I was paranoid all day that I was going to fall. I was going to hurt myself or I was going to embarrass myself in these shoes. I made it like the whole day. Like, yes, this was amazing. I made it in these heels. It was your best day. And then I'm going to leave at the end of the day. And I'm going down the literally the last flight of stairs before like leaving the building, which would have been another flight of stairs. But I went to step, twist my ankle, fall down the stairs Mm -hmm. in front of like a bunch of people and I could not walk in the shoes anymore after I got up because my oh. ankle was twisted so badly that I had to like take off my shoes and walk out of school without oh. shoes on. I think I had spares somewhere because I, no I wasn't playing a sport at the time so I think I just had to walk out barefoot to go catch in the car for my ride so that's my biggest costume oops. Can you imagine if that happened at the beginning of the day and you had to walk through the school? Yeah, well, I probably would have called my parents at that point yeah. for a shoe Gunsender. substitute. I thought I would have been like, yes, like hey, I'm 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 myself. Do it. But it was the tail end of the day and I was about to leave. I was like, if I can just uh, limp out with a little bit of dignity to my friend's mom's car, I'm yeah. good. <laughs> so I once had to be sewn into my costume. We, my senior in high school, we got extra credit if we dressed up as a god or goddess. Oh. So I dressed up as... Aphrodite. No. Um, <laughs> Bo- Artemis. Oh, yes. I was about to say Diana, but that's the um, that's the wrong one. Yes. So I dressed You're up totally as a, a Artemis. Artemis and, yeah. And I, I have, like, this, like, toga costume, and I went to put it on in the morning, and I went to zip it up, and the zipper broke, and I was like, Mom, <laughs> what do I do? So she just sew me into it that morning, and then I got home and immediately just ripped it off and threw it out. Oh. You're like, we're done with this one. Oh, I got extra credit, so that's all that really You're matters. You're like, this is all that I wanted, and I succeeded. And all I cared about is I got extra credit, and I got to wear a little crown thing. <laughs> That's solid. I got to be Aphrodite once, but it was for a play. Nice. So that was really fun to be a goddess and like wear that costume too. It's really fun to also be slightly vicious because it was that. Oh God, what's the story? Oh, I'm gonna forget it. Yeah, no, it's not gonna come to me. <laughs> there's one story where she's like more aggressive than usual because there's like a, a mortal woman who is prized as like this really beautiful gorgeous woman oh, I know and she's you're jealous about. and i can't think of what story it is now. i know what story you're talking about for a second i thought you were talking about the beginning of the trojan war no <laughs> where she's not really the nicest there no that's she, true she, 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 has has her, <laughs> she has a few moments where she's not the nicest it was just kind of entertaining to be like weirdly aggressive and like powerful and my friend was playing the other character so it was just kind of like a fun role to play and be aphrodite did you get sewn into your dress, too? I did not get sewn into my dress. My costume fit fairly well. We made sure of that. Yeah. <laughs> I could have fallen down. I mean, I'm very clumsy in drumbo. I could have fallen down then, too, because I was up on, like, a... It was, like, a set of stairs and then, like, a platform that I was standing up on because I had to look like a goddess, like, above the mortals yeah. at first. Yeah. And then not come down the it and then get down onto the floor, like, with my friend and be, like, like get all up in her face and everything. It was a really intense role. I didn't expect it to be that intense fell for everybody. In that yeah, right? <laughs> Imagine if I just time. fell down those stairs during <laughs> the show. Alrighty, so question three. My friends and I don't want to party on Halloween. What are some fun things we can do besides watching scary movies or going to parties? Um, this one does not have some the name of who submitted it, but um, I feel like... For one, little surprising, I feel like there's not many people who, like, actively don't want to do scary movies or, like, parties or Halloween-y things. I don't want to do scary movies. Like <laughs> <Fair. Halloween. laughs> um, I feel like a good, really good thing to do would be to have, like, a game night, because I feel like that's always a fun thing to do with your friends, no matter the situation. Please but it's a scary game. Yeah, yeah. I, well, I was going to say, play something that's, like, still kind of Halloween-y, or, so, like... Um, the Haunting of the House on the Hill. Huh? It, wait, is that a game? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. It's a board game. Well, it's just confu- it just got me confused because there's also that show on Netflix, The Haunting of Hill House. Yeah, it's not The Haunting of Hill House. <laughs> it's The Haunting of the House on the Hill. It's very convoluted, but 
so there. much fun. Yeah, so there's like Clue, there's that, uh, there's a game I play with my friends that's called Pandemic, which is more real world scary because it's about um, disease outbreak and you actually work as a team to try to eradicate diseases across like a board that's set up of the planet. Oh. It's really weird but fun and it's the kind of game that you don't necessarily win, you just get a little bit better each time. That's cool. So. Um, that one's a really good one. Also, there are so many, if anyone's ever played Jackbox games before, oh, they're so good. So there are party games that you get on, like, Xbox or PlayStation or Switch, okay. whatever, and they usually have a party pack of about five or six games, and you log in on your phone um, through jackbox.tv, and then you pick, like, you, you, like, type in the room code for mm -hmm. whatever game you're playing, and then pick, like, a fun nickname you want to call yourself and like then they have a bunch of yeah <laughs> and then they have um just like a bunch of different games so like one of them's called quiplash where you get a prompt and you try mm -hmm. to answer it in as funny a way as possible and then someone else answers the same prompt and it puts it up on the screen against each other and everyone yeah. votes on which one was funnier Oh, nice. And so it's a bunch of different party games like that. There's one that's very Halloween-y themed that's called Monster Seeking Monster, which is about you're, you're secretly some kind of Halloween-y creature, okay. and you have to try to convince other people to date you. And then if you date them, something could happen to them. So, like, if you're a zombie, you also turn them into a zombie. If you're a werewolf and you date them on a full moon, you get extra points and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So they have a ton of different games that are all super fun, and I play with my friends all the time. It cool. makes any group gathering you way You know how fun games. I do. We're, we're a big uh, game household in my apartment. I love games, but my family doesn't play with me anymore. I'm really competitive. <laughs> I am too. Yeah. But so, so are my friends, so it works. Like, like, like <laughs> Sherry is banned in my house. Haha. Says the girl who hates scary movies. Yeah. yeah I feel like Kara. I was yeah. forced to watch many of the Saws. I um, saw Beetlejuice the other night. <gasps> I'm so oh, proud. Never it's such a good movie. So good. It's a scary movie. Well, no. well, it's a scary movie, but it's also hilarious. And, oh, Michael Keaton. Yeah, if you don't want to, that's another thing. If you don't want to watch scary movies on Halloween, there are so many Halloween movies that aren't scary. Beetlejuice. Hocus Pocus. Hocus Pocus. All the Halloween towns. <laughs> Halloween towns. Um, you got Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. Classic. Young Frankenstein. Um, Classic. Uh, Wallace Before and Gromit. Curse the Were Rabbit. Yeah. Another one, mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. That's a before Christmas. One. Kind of scoopy, scoop, scoopy. That one is appropriate at Halloween or Christmas. Yeah. yeah. Whichever one you choose. Yeah. Comment um, below if you think it's more of a Christmas or <laughs> Halloween movie. It's like asking people yeah. if Die Hard is a Christmas movie. The mo the Ghost of Mr. Chicken. I don't know what that one is. Oh my gosh, what is it? Don Knotts? I think it was. Nope. He passed away a few years ago. Classic comedian. He was also The Amazing Mr. Limpet. Not a Halloween movie, but... Um, <laughs> Yeah, classic. Um, Ghost of Mr. Chicken. It's it's a it's a funny, scary movie. It's this guy has to go into a haunted house in the middle of the night. It's it's a lot of fun. I watch a lot that of like fun. like funny, spooky movies. Funny, spooky. Yeah, funny, Good. spooky. Um, yeah. is is kind of my gag for Halloween because I like I picked up the Black Roses. I love Black Roses. I'm all about that. But like when you get to like murder, and I'm like, no, I can't. <laughs> I love scary stuff, so if you don't want to stay in and watch a movie, you can always go to, like, a haunted house and okay. me ride. Um, oh, yeah. Hay rides are super fun to do with yeah. friends, too. Definitely. And they're open pretty late. They're open to, like, 11, usually. I At also, least. and we were probably just, like, the annoying kids, so probably everyone hated us, but <laughs> when me and my friends used to do the hay ride back in, like, high school and stuff, it was, like, kind of scary, but not super scary. But the we would make it less scary by either screaming back in the people's faces when they would get up and like try to scare you we just be like ah and scream back at them or we would pick like one song that we were just like obsessed with at the time and just like sing it at people <sighs> and so there was one year our probably our prime year where we annoyed the most people and we just didn't care was uh we sang party in the usa yes. at all the people who <laughs> were running the hay ride i did um i did a hay ride last year and I, my friend was like, let's go to Spooky World. Ooh. It wasn't, I wasn't too scared. Um, but the Haunted Hay Ride, the thing is that they could, they can touch you. Most of the time, the actors can't touch you. Mm -hmm. Like, at one point, he, like, one of them accidentally bumped into my friend. It was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> and walked away slowly and, like, as if he were dead, as you do. Um, staying in character. But, the, awesome. you know, on the Haunted Hay Ride, they could, like, get on the Hay Ride. They could touch you and they could, like, they would milk me and, like, go with your hair or whatever. It was this little, like, five-year-old who was just entranced by this one guy who was supposed to be, like, a haunted scarecrow or something. 
And she's just like, whoa. And he's looking down at her. And he leans down. And he goes like this. The high five her. It was the cutest thing. I was like, oh, I'm not scared. This is cute. I went, my friends and I went to a haunted hayride my senior year. And it was like, they had a hayride, but then they also had like a walking haunted woods. Mm -hmm. And um, I didn't want to do that because that one you had to sign a waiver to go through nope. because they yeah. can all touch you. Yeah. And so I could hear them going through. And at one point, a car horn goes off and they told me everyone, just, like all the monsters came out of the woods and they all just started like grabbing at them and pulling at them. And then at one point, wow. they kept walking, and the only place you could go was into this little hut. Yeah. And once you went inside, like, the walls just kept getting smaller and smaller, and there's just this oh, one wow. little hole you could exit from. I'm like, really glad I didn't go. Like, I like there scary a, stuff, but I don't want to There touched. was a place like that in New Hampshire that I went to once where, like, you did a walking thing. They could touch you. There was this really neon, bright, weird lighting, um, like, fun house thing at one point that had, like, clowns and creepy yeah. things in it, and it was... Yeah. crazy one of our friends no. came with us and was like terrified of clowns and I was like I don't know why you I came because they always put clowns <laughs> in the scary yeah. stuff and not like the cute clowns I'm not I'm mm -hmm. not, not I don't hate likes. clowns actually did you say he's cute I, I mean not cute but like <laughs> Like, I don't think Pennywise is that scary. I'm um, not as scared of like clowns. Clown clown. Yeah, I'm not that scared of clowns. I'm scared of sad clowns. But we can go into that psychology later. Um, I'm terrified if you're, of spiders. Yeah. Even this kind of bugs me. Yeah, <laughs> if you, um... But if you, if you don't like parties in college, the main, the main thing is that <laughs> like, there are other things to do like on it. Halloween other than, than go to parties. I never yeah. went to a Halloween... I've been to two Halloween parties... Like in my adult life, and those were after college. Um, I technically I went to one in college because my friend didn't have a ride home, and I was like, "I'll go pick you up because I want you to be safe." So I showed up. <laughs> I was around the party. I wasn't at one. Um, but there's there's plenty to do if you're not into parties. Yeah. But. And I mean, if you're also, because you said you didn't want to watch scary movies, if it's a situation where you just don't feel like watching scary movies because it's a Halloween-y thing, or if, like, you're not into scary stuff, be, like, completely the opposite of Halloween, and just, like, go against the flow and do something that's the most happiest, no, like, joyful. Not I'm not saying Christmas. Don't do Christmas. I'm just saying go do something super happy and upbeat and joyful that's, like, everything against Halloween, because if you're just kind of over it, you might as well just, like... Go against the flow and do, do something some baking. Mm -hmm. My friends yeah. and I used to make um, that rice krispie treats, treats all the time. Bake, yeah, because you can make rice krispie treats uh, without even needing an oven. I know. If you think about it, everyone in your dorm, like a lot of people, are probably gone at parties or yeah. whatever. So you might have a whole dorm to yourself. Oh, I'm playing like, every game of hide and seek. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a lot of fun. That could be so much fun. Just blaring. Do the um the you know nerf. Gun fights oh yeah, nerf gun fights in the nerf hallways and fights, stuff for sure. Make sure you have a cool RA first. Like, yeah, for sure. Ask them to join and offer them a nerf gun. There you go. Yeah, I would have loved that if my if my kiddos asked me to do a nerf gun fight with them. They never asked you. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they did, but I needed to have Sometimes a nerf they gun. They didn't have an extra. Wow. So and I was like, I'm not gonna spend forty bucks on that. I know those things are expensive for like toy styrofoam gun things. Yeah. Question four. Last question. My dorm is having a decorating contest. Do you have any good ideas? Mm. First of all, fun. if you're an RA and you're looking for programs for October, winner, winner, chicken dinner, um, dorms, it's true. Yeah, room dorm decorating, decorating or door decorating contests. Um, some people might even go all out and decorate their whole room, but mm -hmm. like just tell them at least the door yeah. is a good idea. And then just go around handing out candy. Like, and you can do that for cheap. Like the yeah. dollar store, yeah, yeah for sure. You can get a lot of stuff for not that much money at the dollar store. Oh, yeah, oh, wait, no, I got the set Halloween store. <laughs> <laughs> the dollar store, mine is the best, mine is the best. All the, all the decorations, <laughs> dollar store, dollar store is great, yeah. essentially. See, so, yeah, good ideas for, yeah, um, for I actually am creating a video right now with a little sneak peek at some um, DIY dorm decorations for Halloween and oh, one of them so is a great. door decoration so if you wait till the week of Halloween yeah. here's your idea <laughs> I got some really cute um, light things you know, little pumpkins and they're oh, battery yeah. operated so they're fun I have to put them up on my desk 
I definitely think <laughs> anything, like you said, doing DIY stuff is always a good idea because, I mean, you can go to the dollar store and pick up anything, but then there's always a chance that someone else is also going to the dollar same store and picking up the same stuff. So making your own stuff is always yeah. a really good idea because you'll know, you know it'll be unique and different from other people's decorations. Yeah. And if you just want to, like, decorate... Like don't really care about the contest. Just want to like decorate for Halloween. Yeah. Just grab like some spider webs. Yeah. That's so cheap and just like rip it up and like place it in <laughs> random yeah. places. With, like, See, in my stuff. apartment we don't do spider webs. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't like spiders. Yeah. But you can don't also get no. Look at his little bug eye. I She's don't care. Of that. <laughs> Sparkly. I almost broke my ankle again the other day trying to get away from a spider yes. on the patio. <laughs> oh. um, construction paper is super cheap. And yeah. And you can use, that. there is a use for the white crayon. It is to draw on black paper to make that. I feel like another good idea <laughs> is to, <laughs> another good idea is to have like a really solid theme or like idea so everything's kind of cohesive because like it's fun to just like throw things all around but like if you really wanted to go for like maybe winning the contest having a really cohesive theme is a good idea because then someone walks in and is like oh yeah so like even if you wanted to model it after like your favorite Halloween movie so like have like a Beetlejuice theme or Hocus Pocus or Halloween Town so that when people walk in they're like oh yeah this reminds me of that movie yeah and it'll stand out a little bit people do like that yeah, yeah themed stuff oh my gosh I just <laughs> remembered I sing for us. no <laughs> I was very excited for a minute she was so, gonna go all Sanderson oh sisters God. I put a spell on you for a second so no you don't want to hear me sing no I do because you you're giving me Sanderson sisters vibes right now I really don't think so just, um, <laughs> so this was not for Halloween but my first night, my first weekend on duty as an RMI senior year, I had this resident who had been my resident the year before, and I had kind of like a rough dorm the year before. He was one of the good ones. He never spent time there. Whenever he was there, he was quiet. He didn't, he didn't break rules. <laughs> and I'm walking around, and we had these little pods, and I was walking out of one pod, and he was coming out of another with his friend who was also in the dorm, and they're laughing, and they look at me, and they just go, <gasps> and I was like, I have to fill up paperwork. <laughs> I'm going to have to fill up paperwork. And I look at them, I go, what did you do? And they looked at each other, and they just burst out laughing. And I was like, there's so much paperwork. And they go, do you want to see what we did? And I was like, all right, that's uh, that's unusual. So I went, and what they had done was, it was early September, Halloween stuff was on sale. So they had gone. So they bought it all. They got <laughs> not even all of it. They got like cat toys and they, they pulled a prank on their roommate because he was out on a date and they were like, keep it in this window. So they put a skull, like a huge skull in his bed and made it look like it was wrapped up bigger than that. It was like the size of a human head and a little bit bigger. And it was like, it looks like it was wrapped up, like curled up underneath the blankets. And then they like hid a bunch of stuff all around and kind of pulled a prank on him. But if you're clever like them, I it honestly looks like a person underneath the, the bed. Really funny and kind it of was so funny. Yeah. It was really creepy because apparently he walked in, it was dark. Oh <laughs> um, no. And it was his bed, but it was it was brilliant. Um didn't end up having to do paperwork, which is that's amazing Hard. see that's the kind of the, the kind of prank that i can get down with. Yeah. like anything that is harmless yeah but very entertaining yeah so use use your creativity and like yeah put don't just limit it to your dorm door yeah use the use the whole thing i mean you can turn your dorm into like a little mini haunted mm-hmm. house and yeah. like spook someone when they come in to like I'm check out the different place for costume dorm. contacts yeah just leave your door open during the day yeah, let yeah. people like walk by your haunted house. We did that like, actually. Oh, um, yeah. One area did that. They did a haunted house. Um, Hallway. Yeah, no, no, no. They did a whole. whole um, they had their common area. They turned their common area in the basement, like all the hallways, into a haunted house and invited everyone to come along. Um, it was really cool. I didn't go, but it was <laughs> everyone. <loved it. laughs> they should have just started charging people. Two That's dollars. funny. Yeah. Um, could be a fine idea actually is if you if you, especially if you have a lot of kids um who not kids if you if you and a lot of your friends in your dorm um like halloween talk to your ra and see if maybe you like your area can do a haunted house or you can do like themes like trick-or-treating oh bring kids in yeah like kids come trick-or-treating like do yeah do a that'd community be cool. event. it would that'd have be it cool. would have to be like a couple days before halloween um probably or like in the midday on like a saturday mm-hmm. but that could be fun if you if you all decide to like um, 
you know, dress up your door and decorate. And you miss being at home handing out candy? Yeah, I, I did yeah. kind of miss handing out candy. I gave out candy to my residents who dressed up. That's the other thing, too, is definitely try to, like, tie in a costume to your decoration oh, yeah. theme is always a good thing. And be creative. I was just talking earlier with some other people in the office about how, like, when you get older, you either you kind of just stop dressing up a lot of people do or if you do you don't get super creative with it you go with like really easy stuff like get weird and get creative because Halloween is like the one time where you can still kind of act like a kid and just do whatever you want and like no one's going to judge you for it get creative or get one of the inflatable dinosaur (laughs) (laughs) well I just mean like someone has it I was listening I don't know where it is but I have it and you know what well worth it yes I made Half the office laugh. I made, oh, we were dying laughing. Yeah, I made our I heard the human resources laugh because I, w- I was outside. My boss was like, oh, you have to take a picture of me chasing you. Or oh, it, I love take that. a video of <laughs> you chasing me. And I was like, you of suggested course. it. <laughs> so um, I was like, all right, I'm going to go walk by where everyone who's like the head of the company is. I'm just going to like, dump, 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 dump. And I came back in and they're like, you had these stitches. <laughs> Well, I, I also, I was, so I was a little off topic, but I was listening to another podcast the other day, and um, this guy was talking about his son and, like, what his kids wanted to do for Halloween, and, like, his daughter's, like, all going home about Stranger Things, and she's <laughs> going to do a costume for that, but his son's, like, five or six years old, and he was like, so what do you want to be for Halloween? And his son just goes, I want to be a washing machine. And his dad kind of turned it down because he's like, are you sure? Maybe we can do something different. But then later he, on the podcast, he was like, I really regret it because I always want to encourage creativity. And like, what other time in his life is he going to want to dress up as a washing machine? And that's what I'm saying is be that kind of creative. Go be a washing machine for Halloween. Yeah, how cute is that? We're a couple of times being a washing machine in a dryer. Come on. I like it. There you go. Be creative. That's the point. Be creative. Be as creative um, as possible. turned into, like, costume ideas. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, like, even for the journey. For the, they go ahead. dorm room, go, go yeah, get creative. Yeah, be as creative as possible. Yeah. Make, make, put, a bunch of, put a bunch of haunted washing machines, and that'll be your theme. Where every washing machine you open, there's something scary in it. There you go. Oh, or just put something scary in the washing machine. There's you a know, lot of scary things already in the washing machine at school. Yeah. <laughs> True. Put, like, a different rule on the front of each washing machine. I'm just saying, the more different it is, the more likely you're going to stand out, and then you might win the contest for something that's not traditionally spooky. Yeah, creativity gets points. Mm -hmm. Yep. Sure. Good luck. And that's it, folks. Thanks so much for joining us. Make sure to like uh, this video, subscribe to our channel. Scare your friends with the the worst. She touched it. I did. I didn't like it. (laughs) Thank you so much, Kelly, for joining us. Thanks for having me. It was a lot of fun. Glad to have you on here. Hopefully, see you in future podcasts. I hope so. If they want me back, hopefully it's on them. Let us know if you want her back. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, That's it for now. Happy Halloween. Have a safe and happy holiday, and we'll see you next month. Bye, guys.